also fully justified font. Is this a movie or a newspaper? Huge Hollywood production shoots for realism on the singing, but goes CG for the scenery. There's 20 years ago. Well, at least the movie's honest. Javert is wearing a nightcap. Movie only waits three minutes to start in with the Jesus imagery. Your time is up and your parole's begun. Wait, then why was he singing along with all the other prisoners about having to serve 20 more years? Follow to the letter your itinerary. Itinerary? We can't play the song, but... Aljean wasn't kidding when he said his old self died. His teeth even turned from yellow to white. No one helps the mayor lift this f***ing cart off this poor bastard. No, not the face, not the voice. It's the lifting by which you remember a man. Show him what you've got. They know what she's got? They must have seen love and other drugs. And Havoc. And Brokeback Mountain. Don't they know they're making love to one already dead? Oh, so they're like Catherine Zeta-Jones. Personally, I think the amateur Novocaine-free tooth-pulling would be much more traumatic than having sex with a stranger. Yeah, but have you seen Autumn? She's pretty hot. I've seen your face before. Nobody in this movie can recognize anybody else for shit. How many days are supposed to have passed since she got fired? Like, one, right? Do we even have any idea what's wrong with her? Like, is she sick? Injured? Fast-acting STD? Oscar in hand, Anne Hathaway exits and doesn't appear again until the end of the film four hours later. You heard me ask for something and I never asked twice. You just asked her twice already. And go and draw some water from the well. I told you fetch some water from the well in the wood. Okay, the casting director must have watched Sweeney Todd and then said, I want all these actors. Come for the lavish musical production numbers, stay for the refined pee drinking gags. Hush now. Do not be afraid of me. Oh, okay. If you say so. This hat is magical because he takes it off and then it's right back on his head. Valjean lowers his new daughter back down from the roof by rope and then drops the f***ing rope. How the hell is he going to get down now? I fell under my cart. You saved my life, monsieur. Oh, that's convenient. Can Russell Crowe just Indeed, also die while we're at it? Fallen from grace. They must have shot this scene first and then said, well, we've already blown a million dollars on this set, so I guess we'll have to keep Russell Crowe in this movie. I do, you do. My name's Gav Flush. I never knew so many French people spoke with an English accent. Ooh, is this one of those French revolutions? No? It's the June Rebellion? That thing lasted two days. If it weren't for Victor Hugo, this would be a slightly bloodier Occupy Wall Street. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this disappear. It's gone. Yeah, forget the super hot brunette. This random blonde girl is way hotter. Sasha Baron Cohen imitates Adam Sandler's opera man. Please, monsieur. Come this way. Jeez, all this wine. No wonder the rebellion got crushed in two days. It is better than an opera. Is it better than this opera? Because I'd like to see that. Cosette leaves the house late at night in her nightgown after a fight with her fake dad, and her fake dad doesn't think anything of it. We can't play the song, but... In other words, Cosette is great, and you're hideous. Every word that he says is a dagger in me. I don't know how you can seem so surprised at how things worked out. Yet another movie girl that's perfectly happy to have been stalked. As we all know, butterflies are extremely attracted to love. This dude still wants her after hearing her sing. Even after filming this scene, the director still thought the live singing gimmick was a good idea. Set. Set, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just singing with a the creeper. Then I'll arrange our passage to England. He's had Gazette for ten years and has only just now thought of leaving France to escape Javert. With so many f***ing people singing at once, I'm having a hard time deciding who to ignore. So their protest is to interrupt a funeral parade honoring a guy they love? I can find out the truth! Well, sure, let's just trust this random stranger for this revolution we've been planning for ages. Valjean goes from worried about Marius stealing his daughter away to desperate to keep Marius alive so that he can steal Cosette away in, like, two seconds. Get inside! Don't kill him! I know him! Jean Valjean may be the luckiest mother ever. How was this asshole caught stealing a loaf of bread again? Life without Cosette means nothing at all. Dude, life without Cosette has been your whole life up until today. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the song of angry men. So the fucking kid is responsible for keeping the revolution alive? Also, does this kid have any parents? F it. Who cares? Why are a bunch of mostly grown French men so easily swayed by a little fucking orphan kid with more cockney in his accent than Oliver Twist? Finally, some decent parenting. 
how ironic. They're now lying in the stuff they've been making for two hours. How the f*** is this guy down here? Has he been waiting for Jean Valjean and Marius to fall down the sewer the whole time? Shall his sins be forgiven? I know this movie's sins won't be forgiven. Mash was wrong. Suicide is not painless. Where is he? The convent! But how the f*** does this guy know where Valjean is? What is he dying from again? Does anyone in this movie actually die from anything, or do they just run out of time or something? It's too soon, too soon to say goodbye. Oh, I don't know. I think most of the audience said goodbye 20 minutes ago. Monsieur, bye. Would God. 